Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here I would like to invite you to look around and if you like what you see please subscribe. In today's DIY I'll show you how I made this over-the-top glamorous trinket tray. So if you like what you see then please keep watching. For this DIY, you'll need two of the 8x10 photo frames from Dollar Tree. As you can see I have a black one and a silver one. I'll be using the silver one and then I'll also be using the glass from the black one. Disassemble both frames and take the tabs out of the frame that you'll be using. Next, remove the glass from the frame and then spray paint the inside of the frame silver. I spray painted the inside of the frame and let it dry. So now we'll move on to the next step. Here I have some of the Dollar Tree Tower blocks and I'll be using these blocks to create a design on top of my frame. I'm using Gorilla Wood Glue to glue the blocks together. It's going to be a really simple design. I'm simply putting five blocks on the 10 inch side of the frame, making sure to leave a space between each block, then add three blocks on the eight inch side of the frame. Repeat these steps on the two remaining sides of the frame. For the second row, we'll be gluing a block over each opening on the first row. Continue to glue blocks over the open spaces until your second row is complete. I let the blocks dry overnight and as you can see it's really strong and sturdy. Next I'll take this outside and spray paint the whole frame silver, painting the top, the bottom, and the sides. While I wait for the paint to dry, I'll glue the glass inside the frame. I'm trying out this strong glue called Power Tech because I want to make sure that my glass stays glued to the frame. After I applied the glue, I inserted the glass, pressed it down to make sure that it had a really good connection, then put it aside to let it dry for about 4 hours. 4 hours later, the glue has set up. I've already cleaned the inside of the glass. Next, I'll pour in my diamond shaped decorative fillers. I purchased these from Michaels. I then used the top of the container to make sure that all the diamonds were level. Now take the second glass from the second frame, make sure it's clean, then place it on top of the decorative fillers. Now this next step is optional. I have a glitter sheet that I purchased from Joann's. I'm going to cut it to size and then place it on top of the glass. So now when the beads move around, you'll still have a silver background. Remember to clean the glass again before placing the paper on top. Remove the metal hooks from the back panel and then place that on top. Now because the decorative fillers carry a little weight, I'm going to use some popsicle sticks to help me secure the bottom of the tray. I put a bead of glue down the center of the popsicle stick and then added hot glue on either end of it. I make sure that the popsicle stick cover part of the frame and part of the back panel. Thank you. 
when all popsicle sticks were in place, I added more hot glue for extra security. I let the hot glue set up for about 10 minutes, and this is what my tray looks like so far. I really like that the tray has movement, that makes it really different. Now if you don't like the look of the beads moving around, purchase a second container of the decorative fillers and fill the tray completely up. Next, I'll decorate the wooden frame that's going to go on top of the tray. Here I have this beautiful set of handles that I'll be gluing on top of the tray as well. Later I'll use my Powertech glue to glue the handles in place here. Now the handles that I'm using have an opening here. So what I did was took some hot glue and filled in those open spaces. That will give me a surface that would allow me to glue the handles onto the wooden frame. Now to do that, just fill in the space with some hot glue and use a flat surface to smooth it out. Apply more hot glue if needed. Both handles are now done, so now I'll move on to decorating my frame. I want my tray to be really glam and blingy, so I'm going to decorate it with the mirror tiles. Now to add the mirror tiles, just measure the tiles up against the block and then cut them to size. So these tiles come with adhesive on the back but I'm going to use some Dollar Tree Fix-All as well for a stronger hold. I applied the glue to the top of the block and just smoothed it out with a popsicle stick. I removed the paper backing from the mirror tiles and then put the mirror tiles on top of the glue. I'll repeat these steps until the top of the frame is covered in mirror tiles. I left these spaces open so that I can glue my handles down later. Next, I'll glue mirror tiles on the inside of the frame, on the outside of the frame, and in between each one of the blocks. I'm done covering my frame in mirror tiles. As you can see, I left an opening for my handles, and I'll come back and glue those on later. Next, I'm going to glue on four of these crystal knobs to create feet for my tray. Again, I'll be using the Power Tech glue for a strong hold. When you're done, put your tray aside to dry for a few hours. Before I glued everything together, I decided to glam up the side of my frame with more mirror tiles. Again, this step is optional. You can add mesh bling, flower bling, or no bling at all. Next, I'll use more of my Powertech glue to glue my wooden frame to the base of my tray. Make sure that both pieces are properly lined up and then apply pressure to secure the connection between both pieces. Now apply glue to both handles and glue them to their spaces on top of the tray. Secure the handles with tape until the glue sets up. After about 8 hours, I removed the tape from my tray. I then decided to add some of the Dollar Tree acrylic diamonds to the top of my tray for more interest. I simply glue the diamond over each open space on top of the tray.
Repeat those steps until all of the open spaces are covered with diamonds. And when you're done putting everything together, your tray should look like this. This completes my DIY. I hope that I inspired someone to recreate my tray. And if you plan on doing so, please comment below. I would love to hear about it. Again, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you won't miss my next upload. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.